Last dump in gray. I actually should have pulled that while I was pulling the slides in. I don't want to go to hitch height before I dump those because I don't know where the exit point on the tanks is. I think they should be level to get them fully empty. If I go nose high or nose low and the drain is on one end or the other, I'm not gonna get all my gray water out, which isn't a big deal, but I'd rather have it all out. <laughs> Just throwing poop at you. Hello, good morning. All the places I'll go. Getting ready for a pool check. Tug test, whatever you want to call it. Checking to make sure we're hitched up properly. Okay. I need your brute force to get this one out. You need my man feet? I need your man feet. Thank you. Always do a full walk around. Okay, and I see a problem already that I did. Oh, you did it. I cracked the window for the slides. Can we go ahead and get it? Sure. Make sure you get it Chad tight. All the awnings fully retracted, including the back one. Everything looks good back here. Ladder is stowed. Starlink is no longer on the roof. All of the jacks are up. Caps are on. These are all stowed. Alrighty, I think we're ready for a light check. This light check is going to be tricky with this bright sun today. And I sure do miss having the full strip of, of lights that Chad added to the last RV. I'm hoping that he will do, do it again. Um, I was telling the people about, I want you to put more lights on the back because there's only these two and it's not enough. Yeah, it's on the list. <laughs> I came in and I got to swap a battery and I get the camera set up. Okie dokie. It's on the list. Check it to check. You ready for a light check? I am ready for the light check if I can see it. Is that break? Yep. Reverse. Right. Left. All right, come on up. I'll finish my checklist and we'll roll. There's my puppy dog. There's the daisy man. Freshly bathed and everything. See, we got cheese it's check. We got a whole snack bag. <laughs> I always bring a snack bag. I yeah. know. You guys want to know something? Hold on. Listen. I come in the truck and I find secret candy stashes in here. And he keeps the candy from me and he hides it in the truck. Usually it's hidden in the side door over there, so I never see it. But this time they were right there. So maybe he was planning on sharing with me. So I think he picks them up when he runs to Lowe's. He gets himself a little treat. See, it's a good thing I have my checklist because filming stuff today, I forgot the pin. So I put that in. What? The, the pin and the brake wow. things. Always check your checklist. Things <laughs> will distract you, including yourself. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're rolling. See ya.
by Wilmington KOA. It was nice. It was very nice. Oh. It's clear to the right. Clear to the, the right. Clear to the right. Damn it. Oh, wow. Totally open. Get ready. Okay, you're good. All right. Just found a, an open vacant lot to pull over. We got a waggle notice, so we just want to find out. We got a power notice from our waggle. If you don't know what our waggle is, <laughs> watch our last video. What's a waggle, you ask? <laughs> from our pet monitor. I think it just came unplugged because I didn't get a notice from Ring. It was sort of sitting on a dinette chair, so Plus it might have just fallen off. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's time for a ba bathroom break, anyhow. Gotta be. So, yeah, just this vacant lot was perfect timing, so. That's okay. one drawback of traveling on non-interstates is there's not rest areas yeah. spaced throughout. As we suspected, uh, power's good, everything's good. Everything's yeah. running nice and cool in there because all three ACs are on. <laughs> Love that. Daisy's a little stoned. Daisy's a little stoned from her travel meds. Well, I gave her just a half of a little calming chew and uh, that I've given her before, but she seems a little doped up. You too, I'm sorry. Dopey. I'm sorry, I just wanted to calm her down, but she seems way too calm. <laughs> Took her out to pee and she just stood there, stared at me. Like, where am I? <laughs> What's going on? What do you want me to do? Why do you look funny and sad? And then, but then, and she's super thirsty, which she gets, she gets extra thirsty on travel days. Thirsty. I'm sorry I got you high. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't, that was not my intention. I just wanted you to, to stay calm, that's all. Ready to roll? I am. I've been contemplating all my time. My thoughts make me tired, just run through my mind. Looks like a nice empty rest dump. Go down on the end, it looks a little flatter down on the end. Hi. Go last one, all the way. But if we put the slide out, then they might not be able to get around the very end of us. I'll go on this one yeah. and that way. Probably put out both slides, I really. Could. Not like anybody's here. To, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll put out just the one side. We'll, yeah. we'll stay with our bounds. Yeah. Gonna get our feet grounded down here. The nose up just a touch. We'll ground the rear jacks just enough to get them on the ground. All right, those are all grounded. Now, this is different. I gotta do this way to get the bubble to come over, so I need to go out. That's pretty good. Now I'm gonna lock down on the driver's side. Bring your stairs down. Now I should be able to bring our passenger side slide out. This one. We have arrived with like 98% on the Volta. It's nice and cool in here because all three ACs have been on 73. I turn that up because Tara will think that's cold. It's a noise. Oh, 
stop, whatever it is. What is that noise? Kind of strange noise coming from the slide on that side. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's maybe just kind of, maybe I didn't lock it down all the way. Let me check. I have a little pressure off that side on the valve, see if it stops making the noise. Well, are you still stoned? Are you still stoned? Yeah. Lunch is complete. Always do a, a walk around, even after just a short stop. Windows closed. Everything looks good. The jacks are up. We've been on this side road, so our speed limit has been like 55, 60, and a little bit of 65. And we we're getting 10.2 miles per gallon in the last 115 miles. Nice, excellent. I still can't drive 55. <laughs> I could be something that you could believe in. Cause I'm never down when I'm down with you. Cause you're giving me life, baby. Any accident on this bridge messes things up for lunch. It's not complicated, it's not complicated. This feeling is hopeful, we're feeling elated. I could be patient, just sit me waiting. But I could be down if you wanted to. Cause you're giving me that baby. Right the second, I feel like we're out west somewhere. But it's like we're gonna go sledding off the dunes. I wonder if they have to clear the sand off the shroud like snow plows. new things. Yeah. Those kite surfers out there. Cell tower. Boom. Nice. We'll, yeah. have, we'll probably have good uh, Starlink out here. Here's the other side of Camp Nighter, so we're here. Oh, so that's what they mean by the sound. Sorry. Nice. Yeah. Howdy. What time we got here? <laughs> Waiting for you all day. <laughs> if you pull up in lane number one, I'll bring your paper. Oh, great. Awesome. Thank you. I like the sunshine and not the rain. I'm feeling so fine and that won't change. And I am worried about a thing. Because my soul, you just can't drain. So I'm throwing.
Trying to get the right reels on. Keep coming, they're not all on yet. Okay, you're looking good now. I'm going across the street. With this place being a sandy mess, I wanted to make sure and clean This is contact cleaner. I sprayed a bunch in there, so I'm gonna let that clean, let that, let that dry off before I uh, go plugging it in. Figured I would capture our first walk down to the beach. Yeah. With Daisy. Time. We're just gonna go right across the street, which is where the ocean is. Yeah, let's go check it out. Right there. This is how close the beach is. Nice. <laughs> you really, you can't beat this. Wow. Like, there's our home and there's the beach. That is, that is pretty cool. 